So what are the three fundamental questions of humanity? Well, they are, where do I come from? Where do I go to? And, and who am I? And uh, different disciplines uh, tried to grapple with these uh, questions. I mean, for example, history has its own take on it. Where do we come from? Um, religion tries to cover all three aspects. And also science uh, has uh, invested quite a bit of time in trying to figure out um, who am I actually? What is the stuff and the material that I am actually made of? So you see that science has its uh, more materialistic approach to that and uh, back in the day a few hundred years ago um, people thought well living things are different from the non-living things uh, because of a so-called vital force uh, this concept is called vitalism there's only one problem with that and that is is um, yeah how do you actually measure this vital force um, what units do you use was what measurement device so this concept of a vitalism and this vital force is really not scientifically um, accessible right um, even if such a vital force were to exist i mean what is it yeah too vaguely defined scientifically not um, accessible so back in the day in the 1800s um, it was a big revolution when scientists all of a sudden found out well all living things are made of cells yes uh, microscopes were invented um, at that time and uh, basically plant cells are quite easily visible under the microscope um, so it was actually uh, Matthias Schleiden a German um, scientist who then came up uh, with the statement all plants are made of cells yeah a little bit later also Theodor Schwann another researcher he came up with the idea well all animals are made of cells and together they together with other people as well um, came up with a cell theory which uh, proposed that all living things are made of cells and so far yeah there has not been any evidence uh, of the opposite so we can even say that um, all of those living things that we have not yet discovered even they um, are made of cells even though I did not put them yet under the microscope, we can be very sure of that. Up to this point, the cell theory has not been proven wrong.